Hey everyone, so today's video I'm going to show you how to transfer your favorite tool brand's logo onto a piece of wood. So I just picked this piece of wood up at the craft store. If you were building like a storage cabinet or something to hang your drills on, I think this would be really cool to do. I've never seen this done with a tool logo before. So you want to make sure that the piece of wood that you're working on is clean, smooth, or it just won't work. So make sure that you get all that dust off there and you are ready to go. Now the next thing you need is a picture of the logo that you're trying to transfer. You want to make sure that this is printed out on laser jet, not inkjet. It just won't work. And you want to make sure that the picture is upside down so when you turn it and you put it on the piece of wood, it'll actually come out the right way. So it has to be laser jet and print it upside down. So now you got to cut the logo out. You don't want to use the entire sheet of paper because the white will actually transfer onto the wood. So FYI, you can go to Kinko's or Staples and also have them print that out on LaserJet. And now you have to get what's called Mod Podge. And you can get that at Walmart. I think I got this at Target. I think Home Depot sells it. And you're going to get a foam brush. And you're just going to put that on the actual picture itself. So now it's time to apply the Mod Podge. Once again, I'm just using a foam brush. But you want to make sure that you put a lot of this on there. You want to make sure that you cover the entire picture because if not... When you go to take this off, this paper off towards the end, you're going to end up with missing pieces of the, of the picture and it's just not going to look very good. So you got to make sure that you apply this pretty heavy and then after I apply it on the picture itself, I'll put some on the board and that way I know for sure that you know it's going to stick. So I'm just going to add some here to the board now. You don't have to go crazy with it. Just get enough that you know that it's going to cover the area that you're going to apply the logo. And that should be getting pretty good. I just want to make sure I cover that entire area. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. So now you can see, since we printed it upside down, right, when we put it on the board, that's what it's going to look like now. So you want to make sure that you put that down and just kind of tap it in a little bit and then we'll, we'll smooth it out here in a bit. But you just want to make sure that it's not going to move on you or go anywhere. Alright, so now that you got that on the board, you got to make sure that all of the ink from that paper transfers to the wood. So I use a scraper. You can use a credit card if you want. A lot of people do. But... You know, I just use a scraper because I don't want to mess up my credit card. So just make sure that you smooth that out nice and neat. And make sure that all of the ink on that, that logo is going to transfer onto the wood. Because if you have any bubbles, it's, it's just not going to work for you. So just get that nice and smooth. Make sure all the edges are nice and smooth. Make sure that everything comes into contact. Now, after you have let that set for 24 hours and dry completely, you move to the next step. You just add a little bit of water on the back of the paper and start rubbing. Now, you can use your finger or you can use a towel. You just have to make sure you do a little bit at a time. You don't want to be too rough with it and remove all of the ink. So after I let that dry a little bit, I added more water. Now you can see it's starting to soak through the paper a little bit better. And I'm just rubbing it off. And the thinner the paper, the better but anything should work. Just regular printer paper is fine, but you can see how that's starting to come off. Now, I'm not gonna get all of this off the first or second time. So once again, once I, I go through this, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit, and then I'm going to hit it with more water, and I'll get the rest off, because you're gonna end up with a white film. So you wanna make sure that you don't you know, go too much at, at one time, because you'll start rubbing off the ink. So just get that first layer off, let it dry, and then hit it with a little bit more water and do it again. And, and a towel works too. You just got to be careful with using a towel because sometimes you can scratch the ink. So now that I got the heavier paper off, you can see that there is still a little bit of a film on there. So you want to hit it with a little bit more water, just a little bit. And you're going you're gonna to rub that off. So just make sure that you get all that white film off there because you don't want that to shine through. So now once you got that film off and your logo is looking pretty good, 
you have to seal it. So you can do this a couple different ways. The first way you can do it is just use the Mod Podge, and that's how we're going to do it here. But you can also use a polyurethane, you can use a clear coat, whatever you want. You just need to make sure that you protect it. So I'm just going to take some of this Mod Podge here, and I'm going to brush it on with a real light, fine coat. It doesn't have to be too heavy. And once this dries, it will be nice and protected. So if water gets on there, you know, if you accidentally scratch it, it shouldn't come off. It'll stay on there nice and solid. So you have to make sure that you seal it. So there you go. Once you get it sealed up, now it should be water resistant. You shouldn't be able to scratch it real easy. It looks really good. It got a nice little sheen to it. Once again, if you put some clear coat on it, it would really shine. What I like about this is there's no edges. It doesn't feel like it's raised up like it would if you had a sticker on there. It just feels like it's part of the wood. So yeah, I, I love this method. I think it's very cool. I've seen a lot of different methods out there. You use parchment paper and wax paper and it just didn't work. This right here worked the best for me. So yeah, there you go. So there you go. That is how to transfer your favorite tool brand logo onto a piece of wood. And there's a better method out there, you know, leave a comment below, let us know. But this is how I do it. If this has helped you, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. Check us out at www.toolreviewzone.com. And I appreciate you watching. Hope this helped you out. We'll be back with more videos.